Okay, what I want to show you guys um, is how uh, one method that I come up with to add your electrolyte crystals to your booster without having to open it up. Um, over time, the uh, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide uh, exits the cell uh, due to some of the uh, electrolyte being suspended in water vapor. Um, so over time, over a month or two, depending on how you operate your cell, um, your current draws will begin to drop because the concentration of the electrolyte has been reduced. So you need to, as you're monitoring your cell, add electrolyte to keep your current in the desired uh, range that you've set for. So I came up with a real simple uh, device that is safe to use um, and easy to use to refill your cell uh, with electrolyte and it also can be used, if you don't have an auto refill system, you can also just put distilled water in this and refill the cell doing, uh, using that. But right now, today, I'm concentrating on adding electrolyte. So, number one, latex gloves so you don't burn your hands. Uh, during this procedure, you will be dealing with some very highly concentrated electrolyte in this bottle. And if you spill it on yourself, you will get burned. The electrolyte concentration in your booster is fairly low. You can stick your hand right in it and, and you won't burn yourself. But when you're adding highly concentrated amounts of it, you do need to take uh, proper safety precautions. Gloves, uh, glasses would be a good idea too. Okay, so the first thing I do is I add distilled water. Remember, we always use distilled water when we're dealing with these cells. So I add a small amount of distilled water, just enough to allow me to mix up the uh, crystals of electrolyte. Okay, uh, th this iteration I'm not trying to fill a cell full of water. I don't want to add any water. What I'm trying to do is just add uh, the electrolyte and since there's no uh, opening at the top of these cells to like pour in crystal uh, crystal forms of electrolyte, we need to add it in a liquid form. And the simplest way to do it is through this apparatus. So I've got myself uh, a quick little makeshift funnel Okay, and I've already determined the amount of sodium hydroxide that I need, and that's what I'm using today. Okay, so I add it to the distilled water that I just put in. Okay, and then quickly seal it up and get it mixed. You want to mix it as quickly as possible because when you add the crystals to the distilled water, they sink to the bottom of the container, and those the area around those individual crystals is extremely high concentration. And what happens is the bottle will get it gets pretty hot. So you want to get it mixed up as quickly as possible, and the temperature immediately drops as the uh, concentration uh, equalizes throughout the fluid. Okay, so you get it all good and mixed up like this, and then I have a simple filling device. It's just basically a, a barb tube nipple fitting drilled through the top of the the uh, cap of the soda bottle, and then a piece of poly tube. Okay, and uh, you just put that fitting right on there and you have two uh, two options to add to the cell all my cells come with a, re uh, a refill port you can add it here uh, or if you choose if you got a bunch of plumbing coming off of that you just take the quick disconnect off the bubbler and you connect your poly tube right in here and just and just fill fill the cell right up just dump the electrolyte right in there um, and then you can hook up your ammeter afterwards and check your current draw so that's the easiest way to fill. It's safe. Remember, use gloves. Um, add the water first, the crystal second, and happy testing, everyone.